Have you noticed a increase in your electric bill? Yeah, oh yeah, these cars are um, each five to ten bucks a week. That's what you figure it costs you? Yeah. Uh, no, I have. So I have sensors okay. on my panel. Mm -hmm. So I have exactly the cons the amount that goes to each charger. Okay. So I know exactly um, how many kilowatts each car is using. Um, plus, it tells you. Ten bucks a week. Five to ten bucks a week, yeah. Um, so when you're going to buy a new car, you got to factor all that in, right? Uh, yeah. Cost of fuel or what it costs to run the car. Yeah. That's what sold me on the hybrid that I have seven or eight years ago. You know, I paid a lot more for the car, but so I knocked my fuel bill in half. How's it? What's Mike's address? I don't know. Like who? Okay. <laughs> Hang on a second. Uh, it's Kilbourne. I think it's 46 Kilbourne. Navigate to 46 Kilbourne. Okay, so it's gonna... And it's offered these up to us. Yep. So I just go like that. And here we go. Boom. So it's got sensors looking out and behind you, sides. Yeah. Cameras. Look at this here. Did it just do that on its own? Pretty the much? mirrors, yeah. Did you see it fold yep. the mirrors and unfold them? Yep. It's like okay, this but is gonna be tight. But it, it's it's yeah, steered around that car on its own, and it's steered around down. that car by itself. Yeah, it knew that the guy was stopped yep. for whatever reason, and uh, so this is the kind of thing is do I? Yeah, I'm gonna because the light just turned green, so I'm gonna accelerate a little bit. Okay, um, because you know, just a little uh, override. Yeah, a little override. I mean, you could just let it do the whole thing but then no, it's obviously it screwing up periodically you know, go ahead go ahead it's my farmer turn so and I'm learning too because um, the full self-driving that these cars had before this um, it's probably too much, feet, turn was uh, to East Avenue. mostly the highways yeah and it wouldn't do turns. It would go straight on, on yep. the Yep, once you're on the highway, you're okay, or a straight on long run. Yeah. yeah, and it'll do on-ramps and off-ramps and stuff, so it'll do interchanges, but this this is this is like a whole nother level. So, yeah, okay, now you're okay. Let's see if it figures out. And then it the, out. Ne the next stage is gonna be you jump in the back seat and you do yeah. your office work on, right? on the way in, right? Or, or you, you send the car we're, to we're pick eventually, your, we're pick eventually your mother up there. at the airport. Yep. <laughs> so, different seating position, a little bit. Yep. Um, a little higher. The other car really sort of feels on rails. So you you give up some of that sporty feel. Yeah. Um, but it's a matter of taste or comfort, right? You can get three rows in this. Three rows of seats. Yeah, it'll fit somebody in the third row so long as they're under five six. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it, it, it's, I see. It tapers down a little back there. So you could have up to seven people in this car. Um, turn that on. Do you work for Tesla? No, but I love it. Yeah. I. You but, should. Uh, well, so. This whole, I've been following them since since 2008, and my aunt and uncle got one in 2012. I went out to um, their place in Wyoming before they went there, and the cars were all landlocked at the time, so I was able to use the car and yeah. get familiar with it. And of course, that was an eighty thousand dollar car, and right. you know, here I am paying one hundred and fifty dollars a month for a car. <laughs> yeah. um, then I got that, the one that we just got out of. And that's the most I ever paid for a car in my life. And I hemmed and hawed, and I'm like, oh my god. And after I got that car, I'm like, okay, I'm all in. I bought stock options. Yep. Oh, really? So now You're these cars don't yeah. really matter. 
Um, yeah, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. In, uh, I mean, it, Tesla is just head and shoulders above anybody, right? At least. Oh, With yeah. Their technology I mean, technology and their marketing. And so the really the biggest thing is if you, even if you don't travel much, those times when you do, the traveling experience of being able to go to a supercharger and count on it. Um, we took our Bolt to New York City to visit my sister, and it took us 13 hours. Uh, the charging station in um, the charging station in um, Herkimer. Yep. All the stations were down, and it sh and they showed up as they showed us up on the app. So we get to Herkimer and we're like, oh my gosh. So you're kind of fucked in that case. We're well, fortunately, t things have changed in the last couple of years enough. That the charging network is much better. And there's much a consistent. level two charging network. So we went to a library. We could have been really fucked. But we were able to go to a nearby library. So there's always a bailout. Yes. And then you're at the library for three and a half hours to get enough to get you to Albany, which is only 100 miles away. Yeah. You know, because there were stations in Albany. If that... But now they're taking that out of play. Now you could now you could make it to New York City on one charge. No, no, this car won't. It wouldn't do it. No, um, but you're going to want to stop anyway. And the right. way that we we just came back from the Outer Banks in this. Okay. And the way that we use the car is we live in the bottom half of the battery because that's where the fastest charging is. Yep. So you might charge up overnight, but but if you're traveling. You're probably going to go down to five or ten percent, and then charge up to sixty. Yep. Because by the time you're done with the break, like you go to the bathroom or get coffee or yep. something like that, the car's at fifty to sixty percent, and you get back to the car and, um, well, as I said, I'm, this is a six car. Yeah. Um, you get to the point where you're not really interested in having to wait. Right. And so the idea of not having to wait is really kind of, kind of becomes really nice. Yes. Um, and I mean, it's somebody that can go all day without pissing probably has to wait for the car. Yeah. Um, but we drink a lot of water and yeah, and coffee and other things, and so we got to piss three or four of times course. a day anyway. Right. And you know, Liz's bladder can't make it the whole <laughs> though as far as the car. Yeah, right. So you get back and it has sixty percent, and you're like. Do you want to wait till seventy yeah. or eighty? The last third of the of the battery. Also, this car. Ugh, wow, is even more intense. Oh right? yeah! Wow, that was awesome. You know, and and if we were going a lot faster, it still gives you that. Yes. <laughs> to get up, to get up, you and get, go. You you see what I'm? Yeah. Like at seventy, you do that, yep. and, and it still, still happens. Um, you still get the thrust. This will embarrass people in sports cars. Yeah. Because they're like, that SUV is... <laughs> what did you do? You know, their car is still trying to figure out what, what gear to shift to. Right. So, yeah, the, the traveling thing is... I mean, we went from Hatteras to Pennsylvania and stayed with my sister... And then went from Pennsylvania to here yesterday. Um, so, does this also get about 300 miles? This actually gets a little more. This one has a heat pump. Okay. It's a little bit um, so, more advanced. So, the the Model 3 gets the most year for the same year. Yep. Um, the Model 3 gets the most range. Of the inexpensive ones, if you want to get a Model S, yep. I mean, if you want to spend a hundred, the Model S will go four hundred miles. So look what it just decided to yep. do. I don't know. That's interesting. And it's going to be like, oh, wait a second. It's okay, right? Yeah. It's a little dyspastic, but... Well, so am I when I drive. So <laughs> right, you know. It doesn't do the driveway. 
So it'll go straight past Mike's house. Okay. And that's the consumption. So this this is a performance version of the car, which is part of what causes that head back experience. Yeah. Yes. Um, so it's a little bit less efficient than the dual motor version, which is still four wheel drive. Yep. But um, like it'll do 25 miles further. So just figuring it out. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see any difference between the two. So I guess the version's pretty much the same. Unreal. Right. I'll give now you a, destination I'll give you a feel of this. Head back. Wow. That's something else. Wow. Electric. This is a 155 mile an hour car. So. They're taking any negativity away from the electric car. They've ruined the whole whiny yep. bitch face. Um, it's all a thing of the past. I, I don't know. I don't want to offend you from a political standpoint, but that me. whole whiny fuck bullshit is yeah. so annoying. Um, and Elon understood it better than anybody, I guess. Yep. Because he's like, okay, Accepted I'm going to just make you go it away. And remade it. Go away. Non issue. So they, I think like uh, the, the Ford's coming out with a pickup truck, right? An electric pickup, F-150 or something? It's a Lightning? Yeah, yeah, that looks beautiful. But, but that's their first version of an electric vehicle. No, right? they got right? the Mach-E now. Okay, but that's 